Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison between the Galaxy Note 5 and the iPhone 6 Plus. Now, these are two of the top phablets on the market, any phone above 5.5-inch screen. So we're going to see how they do in a camera comparison. All right, now let's check out the cameras on these two devices. Now, first of all, you'll notice a huge difference right away, and that is just that Note 5 produces much bigger photos, and that's simply because the megapixel size is much greater. So this is the difference between a 8-megapixel screen size and a 16-megapixel screen size. Um, I did try to proportion them. I tried to minimize this a little bit at the same ratio as growing this one a little bit so that hopefully they would be uh, more closely but this is as good as we can do for that. Now, uh, first of all, this is the low light comparison. So the idea behind it is, is I tap the building on both of them and hopefully to get as much light as possible. On the iPhone 6 Plus, we definitely saw an increase on the street, uh, which was completely darkened. Uh, normally you couldn't really see this much brightness on here. So did a very good job here. On the building though, it's more dull. It couldn't get that much light through. Uh, between this shot and right away you'll notice that the detail is just non-existent you really cannot see the numbers here as well as just even like the rug right there it, it's just very grainy um, as soon as you come up uh, so this is where megapixels count unfortunately where they're when you zoom in it's going to not be able to be seen on the note 5's photo however we can see a lot more detail you can make out the numbers 96 and 28 you see the towel or whatever it is on there a lot more clearly. And it's just a better overall visual, uh, being able to see everything from the, um, the threads right here on the electricity pole. And yeah, just very uh, more seamless in terms of seeing everything and seeing everything brighter as well, of course. Uh, just everything is uh, much more lit. And you do have a little bit of a lens flare here. And I did take these and all of these photos uh, automatic out of the box. So I did not adjust anything. As we know, I could have adjusted either one to make uh, either one a better photo, but I wanted to keep it an evil, evil ugh, level playing field. All right. Now when we go to the details, uh, we see a couple of differences here. Uh, one, the iPhone 6 Plus actually got a brighter shot here. Uh, and I focus on this area uh, for both. So with that shot though, it does get more detail. That's the question. So as we zoom in here, we can see that again, this is where it's going to fall back on the Note 5 uh, taking the reins, simply because the iPhone is already getting this part uh, much more blurry. Uh, so it just is going to be a lot fuzzier and uh, nothing, seems to be too much in focus here. It's just kind of all around the place, as well as on these rubber parts, you can't really see. You can see a little bit on the white, but you definitely can't see it on the black. It's kind of uh, matted uh, and just kind of blended in. Whereas uh, this part is actually pretty sharp. Now, when we contrast, go to the Note 5 on that, you can actually see that uh, not only can you see these parts very clearly, you see those details I was talking about that are, again, are just not able to be seen on the iPhone. And even though we're zoomed in closer to the Note 5, you can definitely see uh, just a lot more detail in everything uh, here. So in terms of detail, the Note 5 will definitely beat out the iPhone 6 Plus. And then we go to color reproduction. Now this has happened in the last two videos, uh, or well, photo comparison videos we've had. And for some reason, the iPhone 6 uh, and 6 Plus have changed my rug each time. I don't know why. This is the color of my rug. This is the color my uh, the iPhone 6 wants my rug to be. It's not the color. I don't know why it does that, but it does. Uh, so you have, uh, have that happen. Uh, now, overall, in here, it does a little bit of a change, too, to the wall color, which is more of a darker uh, tone, such as this. It brightens it up. Uh, but you can see, obviously, just a different in even the depth from the shadows on these boards right away in comparison to here. It's just kind of not as sharp and not as clean uh, looking between the two. Now, as we go to the color reproduction section of here, you can see that it changes the skin tone for some reason on here, and I don't know why. 
Uh, but we found that each time the color protection, it messed up the carpet and it messed up the skin tone. Uh, so that was the overall impression for that part of the color. And here, this one actually did a little bit uh, of a really good job with the purple in comparison to the Note 5. The Note 5 did get a brighter shot here uh, with this one and didn't show as much depth. So this part, it was uh, more on the iPhone 6 Plus. But then when we get to the shadow game, you can just see a lot of uh, lackluster color and depth in here, whereas you really can see that here. Uh, just the shades between these two are much more apparent than here, where it just seems um, kind of like they're sewn together. And obviously it's not the case. So yeah, um, overall with skin tone and for rugs, um, the Note 5 one, it, when it came to the purple, uh, this one actually had more depth of color, the iPhone 6 Plus. But when it came to the middle and uh, the multiple colors, the Note 5 definitely takes it. So closer on the color reproduction, but definitely still the Note 5 just seems to do a better job. Now in selfies, everyone loves taking selfies. We have, again, a difference in size. Uh, this is going to be, I believe, a 1.3 megapixel on the iPhone 6 Plus versus a 5 megapixel on the Note 5. Now, I always preface this by this is a hard shot for any camera to take, let alone a selfie camera. I purposely do this to test out the camera's limits. So what we can see here is a very dark area where you should get noise, uh, basically fuzziness around your photo. And uh, this would normally be overexposed as it is on the iPhone 6 Plus, uh, and it just uh, washes everything out. And this is the iPhone 6 Plus, whereas this is the Galaxy Note 5. You notice in the Note 5, uh, first and foremost, it's obviously a much wider shot. So I get a lot more in my shot comparing the two. So you can see it kind of ends here for the iPhone, whereas here it goes all the way to the door handle. And on here, you can't even see the light switch, but here not only do you see a light switch, but much more. So the Note 5 is definitely the wider angle between the two, so you'll get a lot more people in your shot without being cutting them off. Um, now, in terms of um, the over-under exposure test, uh, the Note 5 wins in spades. You can see this is definitely not, under, um, not as underexposed as here, where it's just completely fuzzy. Uh, it is more flattened, but uh, that is preferable as it is cleared compared to uh, just the over, um, over graininess or too much noise on this side of the photo. And then when we go to the top, you can definitely see just such a clear difference. Uh, again, the rug, I don't know why, uh, but the rail easily is seeable on the Note 5 where you can't see it at all on the iPhone 6 Plus. Now, in terms of the details as well, you definitely get um, just a better, clearer overall photo with the Note 5 in comparison to the iPhone 6 Plus selfie. So again, to recap, in low light, uh, the Note 5 will get uh, more, uh, be able to brighten the shot a lot more easily on automatic compared to the iPhone 6 Plus. The details, it's easily the Note 5, it just easily takes it. Color reproduction, it's closer, but the Note 5 does overall have the better color reproduction, especially when it comes to skin tone, which let's face, it's probably the most uh, important part of your color reproduction. And then selfies easily. If you want to take better selfies, you want the Galaxy Note 5. All right, guys, hopefully you like this side-by-side -side comparison between the Galaxy Note 5 and iPhone 6 Plus. Make sure to stay tuned for all the latest side-by-side -side comparisons between the new phones out in the market. Thank you for watching as always. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.